This is Language Arts Lesson 4, Changing Font Appearance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find and add a font that you like to make your story that much more personal. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change font color and change font size. So by the end of this video, your job will be to adjust your font. So let's talk first about finding and adding a font that you like. <clears throat> now, the interesting thing about Twine is that it runs in your browser. And so if you find a font that you like and you put it in, what will ultimately happen is, depending on the technical uh, setup of the person reading your story, your font may or may not show up. And so if someone has an older computer or is using a browser that can't render the font that you like, well, then it's going to default to just a regular font. So to overcome that, we're actually going to use what are called web fonts. And web fonts are cool because they're downloaded by your browser when that person tries to access your story. So it's like dynamically showing, uh, uh, dynamically bringing up um, a, a font uh, regardless of the technical setup of the person who's reading your story. So the pros are that uh, it allows for customization. You can make your story whatever way you want and you won't lose the fonts you really like and you can ensure that that person who's reading it in another state will see that cool font or that person who has that older computer maybe will still be able to see that font because they are using web fonts. The cons is that the page might take a bit longer to load but you'll notice that it's going to be really uh, something that you're not even going to be able to notice that. So let's start by finding font options. You're going to click here to find font options. Remember, this slideshow is available on the YouTube page, the link for this slideshow. So you can go right here and click here to find your font options. When you go and find your font options, you'll see this page full of different font options. And again, it's divided up into your uh, sans serif fonts, so without the little squiggly lines at the end of each character. Your serif fonts have the little lines that come off of each character, like in your A's right there. And then your cursive font. So this is great because what if you're telling like a scary story and you want to use this creepster caps font? It just adds to the effect of your story. And so ultimately, you need to find a font for your story. So let's go back here. First of all, in order to make it work in your story, you got to add this line to the first line of your CSS. So uh, this code right here, you've got to copy that and paste it into the first line of your CSS. And right here is where you're going to put the font name. So for example, here's the whole line of code. And then here's the font that I picked, Grupo. And notice it's got a capital G. If you look at these fonts, though, uh, some of them have two or three letters like Vast Shadow or Supermercado 1 or Special Elite. If there's two or more words, you have to make sure that not only are they capitalized, but there's a plus sign in between. Don't leave any space, but just put a plus sign in between. So let's go ahead and try one of these. So I'm going to copy this one. Grupo, and let's add it into my story. I'm going to go to my CSS, and I said to add it to the first line of your code. So add that to the first line of your code, and that's set. Now what's the next thing that it says to do? The next thing that you have to do is actually call that. So then add this line of code within your CSS. So now your paragraph tag, which is the content of your story, is going to have uh, this CSS property called font family and you're going to put Grupo here. So example, paragraph font family Grupo. So let's go ahead and add that in now. If I go here and I've got my body tag taken care of, but now my paragraph and I'm going to put font family. And here, notice, it doesn't matter if it's not capitalized or not. I can just put Grupo in. It does have to be capitalized over here. Let's go ahead and refresh my browser. Cool, I have got this new font, which is something that I personally like. Okay, now notice that my strange day title, uh, maybe I wanna change that. So let's go back over here and maybe I want that to be f vast shadow. Well, same thing. I'm gonna have to make sure that that line of code is added into my style sheet. 
So I'm going to copy this line of code, put it down here, and this time I'm going to change the font family or the family to vast capital vast plus shadow and put that in. And now that's not for my paragraph tag, that's actually for my h1 tag. So I'm going to go back in here into my CSS and make sure my CSS selector, this is your selector, is for my h1 and for my h1, oops, I'm going to put font family vast shadow. Now, let's see how that looks. Awesome. Now I've got a very cool title to go with a very cool font for my story. The second thing that I wanted to show you in this video is not just how to change your font, but uh, changing your font color. And that's going to be really easy. The only thing that you need to add is the CSS property called color. Now remember, look at my example, color can be spelled out like just like an actual color, or you can use the hexadecimal coloring. And remember, you can click on this link right here to go straight to your color picker. And maybe I like, I don't know, maybe like uh, I like some kind of shade of yellow or something like that, or maybe something more purple. Um, let me try this one. If I wanted to pick my hexadecimal value, oh, actually that's going to be too light. Just make sure that when you pull over your hexadecimal value that you copy over the hashtag. And let's edit this. So say that my style sheet, I want my um, header to have this color. So I'm going to put color, put that in, make sure that I've got my semicolon afterwards. And now refresh my page. Boom. I've got a cool color now for my title. Okay. And you can obviously add that for your um, paragraph selector if you want. Okay. The last thing that I wanted to show you in this video is then your changing your font size. And again, that's a very simple uh, adjustment. The only selector that, or sorry, the only property that you need to use is font size. And within the blank, put in the font size that you want. So font size 18, and then we're going to use PX uh, for pixels. There are other abbreviations you could use. We're just going to use PX. So let's go ahead and let's go uh, adjust the font size for my text. Maybe I'll go over here and feel like my font size is not large enough. So font size. And maybe I'll put 22 PX. And I'll refresh my page. Great. Uh, you notice that that's a little bit too small though, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that to a, maybe a larger font size. So I'll try something like 35 or 40. Let's just say 40 so we can notice the difference. Refresh that. And now all of a sudden my font is a lot larger. Those are the three things that I wanted to show you in this video. Um, and so now your job is to go through and adjust your font.